Hey everyone, it's Dirk, founder of The Lopers Academy and welcome to video number 2 in this free training series. In this free uh, video, I would love to teach you what is programming and I know that a lot of you or most of you are here are new to programming so we will define the terms and all the things around it. What's programming? Cool question, huh? And we will learn how to install Xcode, which is one of the tool, the free tool that we will need to develop iOS apps, right? You re remember that once we talk about all the tools, five building blocks that we will need to um, succeed in iOS development, and a Mac and Xcode is one of those. And again, I would love to remind you that you are the one who decides whether you are going to succeed in this or not, because you are so determined to do this, right? Alright, and then as always, I will have a code challenge for you in this one and in the future videos, we will also have a code challenge for you. In the last video, my code challenge is continue to watch this video. So well done if you jump right ahead to this video. Now let's jump right into this. What's programming anyway? Well, it turns out that we use programming in every single day of our life. Why is it? Well, let's say I am going to New York and I'm not a New Yorker and you are a New Yorker. You are so familiar with the streets in New York, right? And I am in the middle of Manhattan or uh, I'm in the middle of Times Square and I, I met you and I want to go to the Empire State Building. So I ask, which way should I go to the Empire State Building? How I can go to the Empire State Building? So what do you do here? You will give me, if you are a nice guy, right? You will give me some instructions to go from the Times Square to Empire State Building, right? And what do you, you give me some instructions? Maybe turn left, turn right, go straight, or just go forever, right? Or take this bus, take this subway, right? And that is instructions. It turns out that programming in computer is the same. You also give the computer a bunch of instructions and these instructions are uh, to perform some task or just like before when you go give me some instructions is to go to from point A to point B right and so in computer programming it's just like give me some instructions give the computer some instructions to go to perform some tasks and the computer is very very good at this now a lot of these tasks combined will create an app or computer program and you'll see these terms a lot like iOS apps, iPad app, Mac OS 10 apps or computer app program and all of these is all about is that a bunch of code, a bunch of instructions combined in a very logical and correct way to create that program, to create that app, right? And later on you will see that we can write a program with just a single one line of code it is called a program to do something and later on we are going to build a program or an app with just single line of code just one line of code to do something and it's also called a program or in the future project we're going to build iOS apps there's multiple files tons of files in which file has hundreds or thousands even lines of code and then that is also a program. How big or how small, it's also a program. It all boils down into a bunch of lines of code, a bunch of instructions to do some specific task, right? All right, and now when you speak to me, when you communicate to show me instructions to go from the Empire, to go to Times Square to the Inspired State Building, we speak to each other, right? And in order to speak to each other, to communicate information, we want, have to use some language. In this case, it's English, right? And it's the same with computer programming. We need something called a, a programming language. In this case, we use Swift. Swift is new to the iOS developer world. It just introduced in 2014. It's incredibly fast easy to use, interactive, safe, and uh, much easier to approach for beginners just like you. So a lot of my students ask, should I learn Objective-C first or learn Swift? Well, Objective-C is the only language before 2014 forced to develop iOS apps and macOS 10 app. Well, 
my answer is almost always is learn Swift. Learn Swift first because now Swift is new, it's modern, it is the future of Apple. Apple will use Swift everywhere and they recently open source Swift. It means that anyone can use Swift and later on I can we can predict that Swift can be used to develop Android apps, even Windows apps, who knows? Or even web apps. So Swift is going to be huge. So learn Swift first. And I think the most important point is Swift is so much easier for you to learn than Objective-C. And most people give up because Objective-C is so hard to learn. Swift is much simpler to learn, okay? Now, again, come back to programming language. A programming language also just like English has vocabulary or some predefined um, vocab, so the words we want to use, right? And also like English, they have grammar, grammar, or in the programming term, we use the syntax. Syntax is just grammar, okay? We use interchangeably. And they also have rules. But the difference between programming uh, computer programming and daily programming or daily speaking is that if you don't follow the rules then your program will not work but with us if we speak to each other you may not use the correct grammar I still understand what you mean right most of the time but with a computer if you don't use the rules you don't use the vocabulary if you don't use the syntax or the grammar you don't use the rules correctly then one your program will crash or it doesn't work at all or it will be very bad right so all of this is all about you learning the rules learning the vocabulary learning the grammar and now just like learning English or any new language the only way that you can learn that very well freak uh, fluently is to immerse yourself in a daily basis and learn that emergent in the emergence all right so that is that now in order to write apps in iOS you're going to learn about you will need to um, you're going to need another software and again that is free it's called Xcode Xcode is an IDE or another term is integrated development environment Okay, it is an environment, it is a software for you to develop iOS apps. And this program is huge. It is, it is huge. Like you can do everything. You can build the most, the most difficult, the most complex app in Xcode. Just one single app. How cool is that, right? You can build the UI on the user interface. Um, do everything in Xcode. Okay, and we will talk about that later on. Okay, now how to install Xcode? We'll jump to uh, the computer right now, okay, and install Xcode. But before doing that, I want you to pause the video. If you have any question, just post it right down below. And then I'm going to go over the computer, my computer, and I will teach you how to install Xcode. It's so simple, all right? And then we'll give you a code challenge for this one. So let's go ahead to the computer and we'll install Xcode. All right, hey guys. I'm at my computer right now so pay attention over here because what we're going to be do is really hard all right so I'm going over um, spotlight which is over here or you can click command space and I'm searching for App Store which is the Mac App Store right it will launch the App Store like this and we'll go over the search bar I will search for Xcode like this okay and then it will displace a bunch of things over here in the search results. All right. And you see that the first one, I don't know why this looks like this, but the first one, you will see something like that. And when you click on this, it should be Xcode. And you see that Xcode create great apps for Mac, iPhone, and iPad. In this one single app, which is free, then you can create any app that you want. Right now, I already installed this. so. Um, but if you haven't installed it, you will see that the install button right here. So just click into that button, enter your Apple ID and password, and just install it like you have been installed in the app, okay? And now, um, some may ask that, do you need an Apple developer ID to learn to develop iOS apps? 
And my question, my answer is, it depends on your.、Um, it depends on you. But right now, let's just don't worry about those things because if you don't have an Apple developer ID, then you can still write iOS apps and run on something called a simulator. And this simulator, it can do almost 98% of everything that the iPhone can do. And it simulates run your app perfectly. Okay, you don't have to worry about those things, right? So right now, just install Xcode, and then we will talk about that in the next video, right? And now I have a code challenge for you for today. So your code challenge today is to go and install Xcode on your computer right now. And if you haven't, you already installed Xcode. Then I want you to ask me any question that comes up into your mind, your mind right now below. You see a comment section. If you want to add, ask me any questions or leave us any、uh, comments on this video, and if you are so committed like me and like many other students, go watch the next video in which we are going to start learning about the Swift programming language. So right next to this video somewhere, you will see a link. For you to click into that and go watch the first, the next video on how to、um, learn about the Swift programming language, right? And as always, have good time, never give up, right? And see you in the next video.